Hey guys, it's Phoenix Mail here, and I'm just doing a quick random update. I am in the middle of doing the like insight into my life videos, but um, Google isn't being very good to me. I am using the Windows Movie Maker, and it keeps saying there's a captcha error or something. So I went to Google and in my details and everything, it said that it was captcha, captcha clear. So I back up my movie maker, click on YouTube to upload, and it still won't do it. So I apologize for the inconvenience, but it will be on soon. I hope. Fingers crossed, people. Today, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I had an my idea and just doing a random thing. Talk about a few things that I just think about today. And the first thing I'm going to talk about today is a crystal that I got a few years ago. Now, that's the rose quartz, so I see. It's quite big. Oh, see? Now, it's, it's quite a pale rose quartz, but it's quite heavy, and I just love it. It's got lots of energy off it. I got this at the Glasgow Science Museum, it's in Scotland by the way, and I got it while well, I was in my second year at high school, so it must have been about 2007, 2008, and I got it for two quid, which according to Google today is $3.19, I think that's right. Cents, yeah? Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm really bad with conversions. I can do anything else, but dollars just confuse me so much. Anyway, it's quite cheap. And for the size of it as well, I mean... And because it was in a science museum, it's probably not even naturally grown. It's probably been in a lab or something, but it still has the properties of those quartz. I think that could be real, actually. So I'm like blabbing here today and just random today. And I just love it, basically. Those quartz... I've always felt a connection to rose quartz. It's one of those stones that I think anyone can use. It's just, it's a gentle stone basically. It gives off like feelings of love, peace, calm, friendship. It's good for having it in the home if you're trying to have a like a this calm atmosphere in the house, or if you have like friends coming around. I prefer it so like on my windowsill, on cabinets, just to. Help promote the feeling of friendship and nice gentle love. It's also good for love spells, but I don't recommend doing love spells. Um, but I just love this stone. Let's see again. It's so beautiful. I like to use rose quartz to meditate as well. If I'm feeling down or just a bit, just a bit unhappy or anything, I'll sit with it in my hand. I'll, just, I'll hold on to it, and I'll just let the feelings of love and friendship and healing, and peace, and serenity just come out of the stone into my hand. I try to, try to like visualise it going up my arm and into my body, into my heart basically, so that it is it soothes. It's a very soothing stone and I just love those quartz. Um, another stone that I have been working with lately is Amethyst. Now this piece I got from Witch in the Rocks. I bought this in August. Or July, it's one of them anyway. And this is it. Now, as you can see at the top, instead of having like one like terminated point, it has four. You can see it right. Oh, sorry. And I don't know why, but it's more special to me. That's it. Okay. And I just love this stone. Amethyst is good for sleep, I think. Now, a lot of people don't think it's good for sleep. But, to be honest, I don't follow the books and what they say about each stone. I, I, I do have books on stones. I have, like, crystal basics and I've got crystal prescriptions and things like that, but... And it does say something, some of them say about sleep and that, but... I like to go on my intuition and in what I feel from the stone, because books don't always... What's the word? Like, write down how... Each person feels individually. Like every witch has their own intuition and in how they feel about different things, such as stones and that. And they're 
basically how much they can pick up from vibrations of the stone. And when it comes to stones and crystals, I am sensitive to them. Like, big pieces of stone, sometimes for me it's quite overpowering. I like smaller pieces. Like, you know my rose quartz, which is quite big, but it's big enough for me. I have a piece of Iris Lunite Peak as well, and sometimes I think it's just a bit too much, it's so power powerful. But I like little pieces like this, and I love it. I keep them to semi bed. I try to put a piece at the bed post and the bottom of the bed. And I find it sleep a lot better with it. I'm I struggle with insomnia quite a lot. I find myself sometimes like in the middle of the night sitting up reading books because I can't sleep. And I'm still at high school, so I find it harder to get concentration in school because I can't sleep. So in my bed I keep amethyst. It's just amethyst is quite a, a multi stone I think. And what I mean by that is that it can do a lot of things. Amethyst I find it heals, it helps sleep, it promotes happiness. It's one of those stones that does a bit of everything, basically. Um, some people may not agree with this, but that's just my personal intuition from Amethyst. I just love this stone, and it's really pretty. But, ah, everyone to their own, I suppose. <sighs> today I'm going to like, randomly go on now. In Aberdeen today, it is pouring of rain. So it's like you'd think that the like, heavens were like an ocean and just all falling down. It's battering off the windows, the rain. It's there's puddles everywhere, like in my front garden or my front yard. Over, <laughs> um, we have like a driveway, and because we've got a lot of trees in the front garden, the roots have moved so much and they're so big that the driveway is kind of like well, one part looks like this and it's down a bit. Not that quite extreme, but it dips and it's like full of water. So it's. It's like a swimming pool basically. It's, it looks pretty if you're looking out, but sitting inside it looks so cold and wet and yuck. I'm not a rain person. Like, I understand a lot of people don't get rain, so I'm grateful that we do get rain here. But to be honest, when you live in Scotland, I think everyone's covered in moss. The amount of rain that we get is ridiculous. Not literally covered in moss, that would be kind of yuck. But that's, yeah, <laughs> I'm babbling now. Yeah, it's one of those days. And I've went to go about the chewing gum I bought. Now, I know it's a bit run on the chewing gum blog, but I, I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with it. It's five gum. I don't know if you get it in America, but I might get it in Scotland and Britain. It's a mouthwatering berry kind, and it smells like raspberry tea. I mean, I love it. My mum absolutely hates the smell of it. I mean, I have one pack and it has like 12 sticks, I think, 12 sticks? Yes. I don't know if but when it comes to my room and she smells it, she goes mental because she hates the smell of it. And it tastes so good, it's like drinking a raspberry tea. And I love my fruit teas. I love every tea to be honest, I love green tea, fruit teas, but I hate chamomile tea. Chamomile, I know everyone that thinks that it's one of those herbs that everyone loves the smell of and the taste because it's so calming and child friendly but I absolutely detest the smell and the taste of chamomile and I once thought I don't know where it was from oh yeah um, it was the Avon pillow mist um, I don't know if you get it in America either I know you have Avon over there but I'm so confused with like Robert Pond it's so bad but yeah and it has chamomile in it and I put it on a pillow one night I thought it smelled funny, so I went to sleep and the whole night I was up feeling yuck because I hate the smell. It's a gentle smell but to me it doesn't agree with me. And I once bought tea, tan mild tea, and to be honest it was just so disgusting. I had to pour it out. I am not give it to my neighbour because she likes it and I don't. <laughs> but even green tea with chamomile I can't drink. I love green tea. But, and I try, I try and avoid things with chamomile. And it's a good herb. I don't mind using it in swells and that. But I refuse to drink it. I have it in like sleepness. But I 
I think that's everything basically. I think. I don't know. I'm so confused today. I think it's just that time of the day that you just you still have a sleep. By having lots of coffee, which I know isn't good for me, but to be honest, I like my coffee in the mornings. And I know it's now lunchtime, which doesn't make it morning anymore, but ugh, it's just me. I'm the type of person that in the morning I had to get up and have coffee before I can process. And a lot of people think, yeah, okay, coffee isn't good for you because your heartbeat speeds up. But I can't process with my coffee. And maybe I'm a caffeine addict but I have to have it. Like, I am so sleepy in the mornings, I have to go to school. And I'm in school, I leave my house at half seven in the morning. I'm up at quarter to six, so I have to be alert. And getting, going to school, I'm in my last year of high school. Basically, I'm doing advanced hires and hires. And it's a lot of work, and it can be stressful, so I need to be alert and focused. So, that's why I have coffee. I also try to meditate in the mornings just to try and clear my mind and get ready for the day. But lately I haven't done it because I don't have time in the mornings. Because I had to do my, look, my homework at like the last minute, so it's not been very good. But I just want to say this vlog has been so random. Like from crystals to chewing gum to coffee and tea. And, but you know, that's just me. Um. <sighs> I'm just so out of it today. I'm not feeling too great. Like my throat is killing me. That's why I was speaking quite funny. And I've got sin like sinus block, which is like under your eyes, nose, you get like sore head and it makes you feel so yuck. It's unbelievable. And so I'm inside right now and because the rain is so bad. I just don't even want to go out. But I have to go out because uh, an application form to hand in for a job. And I already have two jobs whilst at school. I, I work at um, Aberdeen Football Stadium. I work in the kiosks, which are basically like sell, I sell food. Well, when I say food, it's mince pies, steak pies. Uh, well, sorry, mince pies aren't called that anymore. They're called um, Pitorji pies or Aberdeen pies. Um, that's what they're called around the area. Uh, I make Brady's, which is a, like, it's like a pie basically, but it's not. It's hard to explain what these are if you don't live in Scotland or in the area because they're really hard to explain. <laughs> a Brady is like, it's like a Cornish pasty, but it's a pie. If it makes any sense at all. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, Google it. I don't know everything, Google does. And I make like drinks, hot drinks, soups. Um, I sell sweets and confectionery and I cook everything as well and I work in like a big like, long line of kiosks so like me and my friends are all in one line so it's good my friends work there so it's not too bad, it's a nice environment but to be honest the pay is crap I'm under the minimum wage and I'm over 16 which I just don't understand and the hours aren't very good because um, over here with the SPL, which is the Scottish Premier League, home games are like every second week. And because I can't work away, I have to stay in Aberdeen, which everyone does who works for that football club. And home games aren't that often. The next thing we're working at is a Rangers game. And I know now it's going to be absolutely mental because Rangers is one of the old farm teams. In SPL, there's two old firms. There's Celtic and Rangers. And to be honest, they are pretty much the best teams in the SPL. I'm an Aberdeen supporter. Obviously, I'm from Aberdeen. It might be not that good in the table. We're like sixth in the table. But when the two top two teams come to play another team, all their fans follow. And the last time there was a Rangers game against Aberdeen, there was fighting in um, the area before you go into the stadium or like seats and the stands basically. There was fighting, security had to come in and separate them. There was what well, the kiosks, there's was, there was people getting sworn at because there was no like food left because it all sold out so quickly because so many people come to those games to watch. 
Specifically, I am now panicking. I've only worked once there. I got the job on the 15th. And in the end, there's lots of money in that. And it's a job. And I know people out there who are struggling to find work and get money to pay their rent and just everyday things. I'm lucky to have a job. My second job is more holiday work. I work for Capering Kids, which is a children's party company in Aberdeen. Basically, I do I face paint. I do glitter tattoos, which I have one, like see. See that on my arm? No, it isn't real. It's glitter. It's shiny. Um, it lasts for like five days. It's amazing. Um, I help with bouncy castles, which are like inflatable things, and they're bouncy, obviously. Bouncy castles. Tend to be bouncy. <laughs> um, I do craft parties, things like that. And it's, it's good pay. And it's run with my family, so. It's it's nice to work with family. <laughs> she get on with them better, I suppose. You can judge people with like bad bosses and that, but it's good. But I do that more on like the holidays and that, but school holidays when the kids are off. So the kids can come to like sessions or there's bouncy castles. And there's face painting and that available for like really cheap, so the parents can get a break during the holidays. So they can sit for like two hours, and have to drink coffee and read their books and that. Have a chill time where the kids go and play. So that's good fun. But I need to work with screaming kids when their face painted or tattoos done and and little kids can't get up the ladder and win bouncy castles, it's like an assault course. And there's a shoot and it's quite a high like jump to get onto the ladder and some of the little toots can't get up because I need to help them. Basically I'm in the middle of a bouncy castle lifting kids almost a day, but back it pays in the end. But I still say that I'm skint most of the time. I have no money. <laughs> it's my own fault. I spend it on crap, to be honest. I like to buy DVDs and books. And I know it's bad, but... I'm a media person. I like to watch DVDs. I like to see my stuff. Books. I've been buying a lot of, like, pagan-related books lately. The latest one that I bought... Who was it again? Oh yeah, it was the Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs by Scott Cunningham, and I love it, amazing. And it goes through all different herbs, it has picture or like, drawings, it has um, their common names, like, their contemporary and um, witch names, it has properties, it has whether they're poisonous or not, and how to use herbs, it's really good, I would recommend it. Today. Wow, 70 minutes and 43 seconds, I'm doing quite good. Normally my videos last like 3 minutes or 2 minutes, so I'm quite impressed. Uh, this has been a totally random and just weird vlog, but I'm one of those moods today that I can talk about everything. Just a little bit of everything and just, yeah. It's one of those days. And the brain is getting worse here. Ah, I can keep, like, hear it so bad, it's loud. And I wish, to be honest, I know people in America are wanting rain right now. But it's all coming over here. It's like rain central. But ah, I hope everyone's having a good week. Not only like Tuesday, but I, I like Monday, Tuesdays. Wednesday, and Fridays, I can't stand. Like find out in the cal I found out on a joke on Facebook the other night that after Monday and Tuesday, even the calendar is saying what the fuck. Get it? The BTS Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, it's probably really sad and. It's a cheesy joke but I find it quite hilarious <laughs> that I'm sad and easily amused. I find adverts quite funny. Like if anyone over here has seen the Meerkat adverts, they're absolutely hilarious. It's Alexander the um, Russian Meerkat, it's so cute. And Sergey with headphones. And if you're in America or another country, if you go onto YouTube and type in comparethemarket.com Adverts, you'll find them. It's like meerkats talking, and it's just amazing. And also in Britain, it's the Oxo Squeezy um, video. There's like, well, it's like a jelly cow doing the shuffle. And if you know the song Every Day I'm Shuffling by Alan Mafeo, basically the cow's doing the dance to that. It's absolutely hilarious. And yeah, it's, it's quite a pathetic advert, but I find it so funny. It's, it's really cute. But anyway, that's 19 minutes and 42 seconds, so I better stop now. 
record it for 20 minutes. So I hope you have a good week. I hope everyone's safe and just everyone keep calm and spiritual. Yeah, whatever. I'm just, <laughs> I'm really babbling on now. So be safe, have fun, and what's the day?